Hello, everybody. We're here in our back lot, actually in my car. Uh, this is an electric car, and we're here to talk about the benefits of electric. I know the price tag for electric cars are daunting. So, Elizabeth Herrera, thank you for hanging out with me in my vehicle. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's talk about this program that you are supporting. Uh, tell us how you're trying to get more people uh, in electric vehicles. So um, the Electric Vehicle Access Program is a program that aims at increasing the um, plug-in and um, battery electric vehicles in low to moderate income communities, okay. uh, re uh, reducing carbon emissions and increasing renewable energy usage. That's great. So obviously we know with gas prices as high as they are, it's scary to have to go fill up your tank nowadays. Yes. I mean, people are paying $100 sometimes. Uh, and just for an example, I mean, I charge my car at home. Uh, our electric bill goes up a little bit more, but uh, supercharging this at from zero miles to up to 200 miles, mm -hmm. 250 miles, costs about $20 max, and that's for supercharging this specific type of vehicle. Uh, so talk about the benefits even financially for people low middle income make this switch. I mean, how does it yeah. help them? So definitely, like you mentioned, car prices uh, significantly have increased yeah. um, recently. So savings in gas prices, not to mention the savings in maintenance, mm -hmm. so no oil changes, um, as well as um, helping the environment mm -hmm. um, decrease emissions and increase um, clean um, air and um, also, act, you know, just having access to HOV lane. <laughs> right, right, that helps. So, yeah. yeah, definitely uh, it does help to use that HOV lane. I will say I'm so glad I got my car washed before you were in this. <laughs> uh, but there is another vehicle to show. So this is a, a Tesla and the Model 3 version. But let's hop out and show uh, this other vehicle that you brought. And tell us about this one. Yeah, so this is one of the MAX participant um, okay. electric vehicles. So like I mentioned, um, MAX program, um, what we do is we assist individuals with claiming um, incentives and rebates okay. to help lower the purchase price. Or, um, this is one of the participants' vehicles that was purchased through our program. Oh, great. So how, how helpful is that? I mean, for people that are worried they can't afford an electric car, I mean, obviously everything's so expensive. It seems like out of the question to be able to buy one. Uh, what kind of incentives are they able to, what kind of discounts are they able yeah, to get? Yeah, so there's the clean, um, there's the uh, clean vehicle rebate program okay. project that provides up to 4,500 um, post purchase and the California clean vehicle rebate program mm -hmm. that um, is a $750 um, off the purchase immediately. Okay. Um, we've had actually within the program about 58 participants that are currently in the process oh, of purchasing an electric vehicle. 22 have purchased within the last year. Okay. And um, the majority of our participants were able to get up to 11,000 in Calif uh, state incentives and rebates. I see. Lowering that purchase price significantly. Okay, and we see on the side here, Access OK, California Clean Air Vehicle. Yes. So that right there allows you to use the HOV lane. Exactly. Uh, so obviously, if we're getting stuck in traffic, it's not as big of an issue. Uh, and then the cost savings for this, I can only imagine uh, how much less they're paying simply because they don't have to worry about gas, right? Yes, um, actually, I think it was like less than two dollars per gallon. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So when you're looking at what six dollars or more <laughs> nowadays, <laughs> yeah. that helps a lot. Uh, this is a plug-in hybrid, so that's interesting. It's an electric, and then it switches over to hybrid mode. Yes, and okay. that's um, these are particularly nice for individuals that are scared of you know going full All on electric. electric. Yeah. yeah. So it's a nice hybrid. Of, before they jump into full electric, right, gives right. them that piece. No, of that time. makes sense because then if you do go travel long distance and there isn't a supercharger, for example, then you have options. I have noticed charge points all throughout San Diego, and I think that also is something that worries people. Will I be able to charge where I need to? Are a lot of these drivers able to find what they need when they need it? Yes, um, and there's actually pretty easy to use apps available. Okay. Yeah. So if you're going to take a road trip, mm -hmm. you can actually track the different um, stations, and that way you can plan ahead. Okay, Elizabeth, thank you for the. How can people sign up real quick? So uh, definitely go to MacProject.org and there's the electric vehicle access program there. We are currently accepting interest forms and plan on starting rolling sometime in late spring. Wonderful. Thank you for your time and we'll send it back to